Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hops. Today, going by just me, Michael. Me Michael. Yes. Yep. We're drinking more haze. Haze for days. <laughs> uh, this time from Beer Dome. So. <laughs> Sounds like you cheated four hours ago and started <laughs> it before me. Haze. <laughs> <Hey, it's laughs> I'm just riled up because <laughs> uh, of the good company. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Yep. And I had citron peppercorns, it just like makes me all... <laughs> no. It actually numbs your palate, so I can't taste shit. No. <laughs> um, this is from Beardome. Beardome got a huge it's selection... It's from Fidens. Yeah, the beer is from Fidens. But Beardome got the Fidens beer. Yeah. And this they got a huge selection of Fidens. There's a lot of places in Europe that now has Fidens. It's crazy. We got an import of the brewery. I talked about this already in Teacher's Pet. Uh, but that's why you keep an eye on Beardome. So thanks to the beer dome for the beer. Link for the web shop is now below. This is your first Fiden's beer. Yep. I traded for some and uh, and also got some from Joe. Uh, so I know what to expect, but you can see it looks saturated as fuck. Yep. Uh, the beer we're trying is Eugene's Axe. And this is one of the more well-acclaimed Fiden's beers. There's many variations on this as well, but this is the golden standard. Um, for example, they did one with Other Half, which was called something else, Axe. And then there was the Eugene's Axe, but the Axe Head was all broccolis because of their broccoli. Oh, yeah. And whatever. Um, so it's a double hazy double IPA on 8.5% featuring Citra and Galaxy Hops. Well, that's it. What can go wrong? Hopefully nothing. And this is a month old, so it's one of the freshest cans in the release here in Europe. This was from the 3rd of February, and we're the 7th or the 8th today of March. Something like that. So, it's, it's some classic. Yeah, it's still good. So, yeah. I mean, we talked about beer feeling saturated with the uh, with the steam berries, but look at the difference. Look at this soup. <laughs> this is crazy. It's, as you said <laughs> off camera, it looks like some kind of milkshake beer. Yeah, it does. It's crazy. It's pin bright yellow. It looks a lot like monkish too. Like these really pale, crazy, hazy juice bombs. Yeah, it looks, it looks quite amazing. It does. Should we check out the aroma? Really juicy. Oh, yeah. Really juicy. Um, juicy loosey. And juicy loosey. It really reminds me. So the thing is with Fidens, it has a lot of that like East Coast juice, like heavy yeast profile. And there's that on this too. Like I'm getting so much like overripe uh, melon and yeah. like really really overripe fruitiness like fruitful. yeah and that galaxy also gives melon but now it's also like Rickley's juicy fruit bubble yeah, gum I like a this bubble gum thing. like what you got in old school trillium and treehouse beers yeah i can see that i can see that. like this huge estuary fruity bomb like i'm even getting like lychee as well or something like that it's really exotic Citra and Galaxy. What is this? That's their old brew system when they were home brewers. Yeah. That's their logo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a bit of mintiness to it. Or something like that. Spearmint or something. Yeah, like spearmint. Lightly. Like a slight herbaceous thing. But it's not like... Menthol. Yeah. But I don't think it's an overload. You get that sometimes with Galaxy Hops. But it seems like this is a really good crop of Galaxy. Because it's mainly like really overripe melon. Like that cantaloupe mm. melon that yeah. Galaxy can be known for. Paired with... Tropical fruit. I'm also getting lots of stone fruit. Actually. Yeah, me too. Ripe fruits. Yeah. And apricot, but still hop centric on the same time. But more yeast. You want to try it? Yeah, yeah. I don't, <laughs> don't want to make it about all these fruits. Let's try it. Cheers. Thanks to Beardome for the beer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, impactful. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's, it's very good that we saved this for last. <laughs> Of the beers? All of the others would seem watery. Yeah, and thin and yeah. like, oh, there's not enough hops in this. <laughs> Whoa. That is a hop bomb. Yeah, this, is... Uh, this is a banger. It's a fucking banger. But what I love about this, though, contrary to a lot of, like, European hazy, it's so hop forward. It's not all, like, sweet yeast esters. And although it's got a lot of sweet, mm. juicy esters, it's it's not really cloying the sweet. There's a oh. lot of dryness and a bite. This is, this is really, really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. It's not too sweet either. No, no, it's that's just, the big thing. Yeah. There's definitely like an herbal minty menthol touch. 
Yeah. It's not all gushing juice. And I think eucalyptus that's... Eucalyptus is something. Yeah, eucalyptus. Yes. Totally. It must be galaxy. Or just the saturation. It just oxygen. makes it more refreshing. I yeah, think. I think so too. But there's so much cantaloupe melon. Like, it's been... Be fresh. Yeah. Be fresh. <laughs> it's the thing though, that's, I, like, it's so long since I've had a beer with Galaxy where it, it was this heavy on melon. Like, I don't think... Yeah. Not since we drank Monkish, like, dead fresh maybe a year ago. Or so. Like, some of those yeah. bangers. Because it's like that very over but it's so sweet. juicy still yeah. it's, it's dry but not bone dry it still has some juiciness yeah it's a real good balance between like although this is a really intense beer it <laughs> it's is. a it's a really good balance between like a drier hazy a hop centric hazy but also a juicy hazy it takes mm. a lot of the boxes and i think it's for sure similar to monkish approach but with more yeast character yeah. A little bit yeah. more pronounced and more OG East Coast East Coast. Trillium vibes. Yeah. Yeah. I can OG see that. Trillium. Yeah. Also, to some, like Green from Treehouse. That was also a Galaxy focused beer, or is. But I think this is much better than the newer batches of that beer. At least some of them. I've, I've been disappointed with quite a few Treehouse beers that's been both oxidized and whatnot. Like, they've also scaled up like crazy. Okay. Since back in the day. I think they have, they have three breweries now or something like that. At least two. What about Trillium? I, I think Trillium also scaled up, but we had that was a small amount in Europe at one point. Yeah. And I don't know. They're doing a lot With of the things. The white label stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. It's been a long time since I tried to get any Trillium. I don't know if they. It seems like some of those OG Hayes brewers have gotten so big now that people don't really bother with them anymore. Like when you get big as a brewery, there's also the problem of scaling. Because trying to scale a beer like this is really hard because they're so expensive to make and whatnot. Like when you scale, you also need to cut cost mm -hmm. and dial in and then you reduce hopping rates and all these things. And you try to make- Why do you need to do that? I don't think you necessarily need to, but the problem is like you, you need to think of shelf life and like storing the beer. Like when you start to produce a but lot- But that of must be a choice you make. Think, yeah, I think so. I think Treehouse to some extent is still trying to do big scale like this. But with a new system and different brewers and like many things, I think also you yeah. need to learn the equipment and there's so much. Like that's the, that's where the question comes in is, is it necessary to keep growing? Isn't it okay to just get to a size where you're comfortable with it and stick to that yeah. and say like, we're not going to produce and more beer and than you this. Can and, hands -on gonna, with the yeah, and you can have a hands-on with the production. You'd be like, we're, we've, we've got employees we're very happy with. Everyone gets a decent salary. It doesn't have to be like like going crazy it can be like local but then still. again that's a choice you make and then you make room for other yeah. newcomers yeah yeah but this is banging this it is, is really, it is really fucking good fucking great haze it's a long time since we've had haze where we've been really stoked yeah. about it i mean i'm pretty stoked about this one uh, mm -hmm. yeah i don't think this could get much better in a hazy beer for me no i have to say i don't know what i would change no actually but it's like it's really saturated in all these, we talked about melon flavors, whatnot, lots of menthol, lots of like these yeah. interesting herbal things. And then like, there's some bright, like tropical fruit, generic bright tropical fruit, maybe passion fruit or something. But then there's also like the sweeter esters playing in with like a little bit of that bubblegum, peachy stone balance. fruit, yeah. uh, maybe even like guava or papaya or something. It, when it gets a little temperature as it sits in the glass, it, it get, gets more bottom. Yeah, more and, depth. Yeah, and you get more like sweet esters yeah. as well. But it's not cloying sweet. No, 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 no. It just adds to the fruit fruitiness. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm on a 96, 97 on this one. Yeah, I think 95. I, I, yeah, but I'm not as stoked on this as I was on like uh, my favorite again. You, you, yeah, uh, just remember what you gave the GBG. Yeah, and that's only two grades higher for this one. Yeah, so maybe 96 is. But maybe the GPG should be lower. Uh, no, no, no. I'm also should no, be no. generous, Peter. Uh, yeah, be generous. With yeah, the, the world will be generous to you. Yeah. Maybe the spirit will taste better if you give it a better grab. Yeah, I'll give it a 96. <laughs> yeah. What do you say, baby? But you I mean, a 99? It's a 99. <laughs> oh, you sound better. Yeah, uh, uh, well, yeah. Uh, but it's a world class beer. I think so. 100% world class haze. And I understand why this is like one of their benchmark beers. But yeah, banger. 
get it. I mean, it's in Europe right now. Just get it right now. When you see this review, right now, this beer is peak drinking territory, and you, it's like, it's peaking right now. This is the best spot. It's Need not to too. Get it right now, brother. Yeah, get it right now, brother. <laughs> we gotta get in it. <laughs> I, I, I saw an old Hulk Hogan video with the brother. Oh, yeah. with the brother. Brother. <laughs> uh, or is that more Matt? Macho Man, Randy no, Savage. I think brother, 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 and, and what was his, the brother one, is is definitely yeah, it's Hulk Hogan. Hogan. Yeah, I don't remember what Macho Man said. Randy Savage. I don't know, but I remember he. Played. Yeah, it's two words. One said brother, the other one said, I I don't remember. I remember Probably Macho Man remember. Randy Savage was in the original Sam Raimi Spider Man when he was Bonesaw. <laughs> They all all make those like voices when they talk and listen. Yeah, <laughs> gotta come from deep down and gotta sound manly and angry. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, I remember the OG WWF. Yeah, yeah. I never watched it. But... Jake the Snake Roberts and Andrew the Giant. Have you seen the uh, uh, the compilation of uh, like, Ultimate Warrior? Uh, but the compilation was like, is wrestling secretly gay or something? Where everyone, I'm gonna. Put my arm oh, so yeah, yeah, far up yeah. your ass. I'm gonna strengthen it. He was like, okay, you're gonna do what now? <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, that was just a twist in the beard. But yes. <laughs> but go watch some wrestling and drink some Eugene's axe. Yeah. Uh, amazing stuff. Again, yeah. get it now. It's fresh. It's gone on Beer Dome. I think all the Fiden's beers are gone on Beer Dome. But if you find this, get it. And I think it's a big mixed selection because I've seen mixed selection on different web shops from right. Fightins. So I'm guessing they have gotten like sporadic, they've probably gotten a palette where it's like, okay, there's this, there's many cases of this and that and this and that. And it's just like first come, first serve at Interbia who imports it. But lovely, magnifique. Yes. Drink it. If you guys had your jeans X, let us know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video oh. a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Yes. Thank you. And we're going to say cheers and hi. And see you guys in another beer review.